this is my first video so welcome to my youtube channel there's probably going to be a lot of mistakes in how i do all of this word all of this etc so i would love feedback good and bad please let me know how I can improve for the next video. For this first video, um, long overdue, but I really wanted to film this video and talk about Tomorrowland and more specifically some of the options within Dreamville. I noticed online that if you are looking for different options in Dreamville, you can see some pictures of the accommodations, but you don't necessarily get a, a video or even more importantly, a video tour. So here I am to provide you all of that good information that you need in order to book for Tomorrowland 2020 or 2021 and beyond. I'm primarily gonna be talking to you guys about all of the accommodations that are included with the Montego. The Montego is this beautiful, beautiful area that's designated for certain camping accommodations um, within Dreamville. And that area is completely blocked off for only people that are staying in the accommodations that I'm going to be providing you and, and showing you kind of examples of in this video. So first, I wanna give you a little tour of the Montego and kind of show you what the Montego looks like. No sound I'll find valid in your eyes You'll always be my night sky These accommodations, like I said earlier in this video, are allowed to be within the Montego chill out zone area. So great place to hang out during the day uh, before you actually go into the festival. You can buy towels and robes and all kinds of cool merchandise through here as well. Now you get to see the Montego and how absolutely stunning it is. And the fact that they build this place up every year is crazy because it, like I said earlier, it looks like this four star hotel. I am going to walk you through a little bit of the options in Dreamville. The first option is called the relax room and these relax rooms are for two people, comes with beds, comes with lights, clothing rack, etc. And the best way that I could really describe this camping option in person is that it kind of looks like one of those, what do you call it? Like a crate, I guess you could call it, like kind of in the back of a semi, more or less. Um, what's really cool about this particular option and the relax room option is that, first of all, you're a little bit secluded from where the Montego is, so it is a little bit of a walk. So if you are somebody that likes a lot of quiet, this would be great, a great option for you. The other thing is that with the enclosure of it, it really doesn't allow allow a lot of light to come in. So if you're somebody that likes to sleep in and you're somebody that really enjoys just that dark, quiet space, this seems like a great option. It never seemed like it got too hot inside as well, just again, because a lot of the light cannot come in. So I'm gonna show you guys um, a quick tour of that option now. So this is a spectacular relax room. Um, Pretty awesome because we do have lights and obviously walls, especially if it rains, this is gonna be a good protection. Got a couple windows that let the air in, um, no AC. Does have power though, so you're able to charge your phones. Um, got a mirror, some closet space, a couple of beds. Um, they provide you towels, comforter, pillow. Um, definitely does the job. Got a couple chairs in here as well, so you can pull these out. And cool little lounge area out yeah. here. So that is the relax room. We got a nice little tour of that. The relax room comes in for about three, $3,100 total in US. Um, not per person, but that is for the total package. So that would be split between two people. Obviously, if you do Global Journey, there may be some add-ons from that, but that at least kind of gives you a general gist of the amount of money that you're spending if you want to do a relax room. But the next option we're going to discuss are the Dream Lodge packages. So 
the dream lodges are great. They're probably the most prevalent throughout all of Dreamville in the Montego area. There are so many of them. And the setup is really similar. You do get two beds, some space for storage and organization, and then of course electricity. There are also chairs that are on the outside of the dream lodges. And I think depending on which package you get, you also get a robe and slippers and whatnot included. I'm gonna show you a little tour from Dream Lodge so that you can see what that accommodation structure looks like. Hi, welcome to my spectacular Dream Lodge. This is our front porch. We get a bench for sitting. We have shelving over here for storage. And then there are two beds and then it is equipped with lamps along with a two USB chargers and a, a European outlet. So you are completely ready to camp and have an amazing time at Tomorrowland. And what do you think of it? Do you really love being here? I love it because you're able to stand up in the tent and that's not typical for me because I am a taller person. Oh, and what's your height? I'm five foot ten. Five ten. Yes, awesome. and there is still plenty of room. So six foot and up can stand up here comfortably. Okay, so that is the Spectacular Dream Lodge, and the Spectacular Dream Lodge price is around twenty five hundred dollars. So you obviously divide that by two um, in order to get your total cost per person. And the Coconuts were actually what I got to stay in this year, which which was twenty nineteen, and I absolutely loved it. So the Coconuts are set up really similar to the Spectacular Dream Lodges, except it's got sort of more of a whimsical feel to it. It's set up like a really beautiful teepee and then inside there are two beds, there's a couple lamps, small mirrors, um, spots on the outside to sit down. There weren't too many Coconos this year but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the grand tour of that. You can read a book right here then I'm gonna take you in my pad here. Take your shoes off right over here then this is the lovely space with two comfortable beds, one on each side, lantern. We've got a little changing room back here if you need that. And then we have a full on recycle kit, which I've not opened, I have no idea what this is, but that. And then we also have a mirror. So this is Dreamville, guys. Here we Price go. for the Coconos is right around $2,200, $2,300. That does not include anything that you get if you're doing part of the, the global journey packages or anything like that. That's just for the accommodation, which does include uh, your, your regular ticket. They allowed a lot of airflow through, um, and there were ways to kind of keep the light out during the day, which was really nice as well. And then there's also this really nice vinyl over it, so it did deflect water so that no water would seep in. Um, if it was raining, which it did a lot in 2019. We did talk about the spectacular Dream Lodge, but we did not talk about the regular Dream Lodge. And actually they are two separate things. Spectacular Dream Lodges are a little bit more expensive. They're a little bit roomier, but the Dream Lodges are great as well. Um, they are a little bit smaller, but what's really nice about those is that you still get the access to the Montego. Um, and those were actually probably the most prevalent over the Spectacular Dream Lodges. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a quick tour of the Dream Lodge. This is the Dream Lodge. Mm -hmm. uh, the best thing about here is that we have some power for changing the mobiles or cameras, whatever you have. Then we also have some tables, chairs for drinking before entering to Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. And right, it's people here is very nice. All the neighbors are very, very nice. We enjoy it. Uh, everybody is very, very kind. We also have to say that we're we are from Andorra. Andorra. But there's, there's enough space, it's very, no problem. No, it's very, it's it's perfect very nice. Perfect for two persons, it's perfect. Great. Perfect yeah. space, yes. Great. So when, when it's raining, all the floor, there's a lot of grass and everything, and here it's okay. You can stay very, very good, so. Perfect, and one window in the back, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and also lights inside. Oh. 
to see. Okay, great. So it's very, very, very nice. So those Dream Lodges are right around $2,000. Um, so again, divided by two, about $1,000 per person. They're really just set up like a simple glamping tent. Obviously, you've got, you know, your beds, your electricity. It's just the basics. That's obviously a great option if you're looking to get into the Montego area. You still want something pretty comfortable, um, but you don't need anything too fancy. The next two options that I'm going to talk to you about are a little bit on the fancier side. These are definitely the nicer, nicest accommodations within the Montego Dreamville area, and that is the Cabana and the In Suite. The Cabana first, we'll talk about that. The Cabana is a really nice box-shaped room decorated on the inside. Again, two beds, a nice shade structure over it, plenty of room to walk around, electricity. But without further ado, even though this one is just a little bit messy, this this was this video was taken on the very last day of Tomorrowland, you can see the overall layout. Hey, this is a uh, cabana. Um, I will show you inside, guys. You got a light here, and you can open this door also. This is pretty amazing. So then you have like the view outside. Uh, well, you got other cabanas here, but like you got some space here, two beds. You got, uh, yeah, you could put things here like your cap or something. Uh, power, like for charge your phone and everything. Yeah, it's pretty great. A mirror and two lights. Well, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you got rain outside now, <laughs> so it's it's like the best to have like this cabana. I think. It's so nice. So would you stay in this one again, or would you do another option? No, I would stay, stay in, this in this one. Again. Yeah. Okay. Of course, this is the best. Perfect. If you ask me. Perfect. The best the money can buy. <laughs> this option is priced right around twenty five hundred dollars. Again, split between two people for the weekend and again includes the ticket but does not include any sort of global journey package so this just kind of gives you the overall basic pricing of that looks like a super nice spot to stay in obviously and it was also really close to the pool so the last one that we are going to talk about now is the in suite the in suite is the only accommodation available in the montego area that does have a bathroom inside of its individual structure, thus the in-suite. The in-suite is super nice. If you are somebody that is very serious about comfort, that really enjoys the finer things in life, or if you're just feeling a splurge for yourself, this is the spot for you. So the in-suite is set up exactly like a standard hotel room. You've got a bed inside, there's closet space, there's plenty of areas for storage, there's a shower and a full bathroom. Once again, if you're somebody that is looking for that extra bougie feel, the in-suite is for you. I I am not 100% sure if you can get the in-suite uh, without attaching a global journey package. Once again, you get everything that's included with the Montego, and of course, you do get a private bathroom. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what the grand tour of is like for the in-suite. Hey, uh, this is in-suite, and uh, we, live in, we live in here. Uh, so, come in. Uh, this is our main room. So this is bed, lights, uh, there is no uh, uh, air conditioner in here, uh, over there is a uh, bathroom, there is a kind of door in here, so we can oh. close it, we can open wow. it, there is light and everything you know, we need. There is no doors, but yeah. Okay, and then storage space, Yeah. and then you have outlets yep. on each side on each side right amazing and does it keep cold in here when it was really hot uh the temperature is normal okay yeah it but feels good. when the weather was the weather was very hot it was so hot in here so we uh, uh, used to open the door yeah. open okay. white and, and we dream about condition <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay perfect and would you stay here again or would you try to do another option yeah you would, would stay, stay here. Yeah. I did see online that the in suite is about 3,800 euros, around 4,200 um, US dollars. And again, that would be divided by two. Well, guys, that about covers it. 
that is the full rundown of all of the accommodation at Tomorrowland in the Montego area in Dreamville. Once again, every single one of these accommodations do come with a ticket. So a ticket is included in the price. Um, Global Journey obviously can change the pricing. And like I said, full disclosure is that some of the pricing may be off. So if you are looking at this video, looking to book for 2020, and some of the pricing is a little bit different, um, I'm sure that they do change the pricing accordingly each year to accommodate for a handful of different things that change within the festival. In this video, you were able to see the difference between the relax rooms, the Coconos, the Dream Lodges, the Spectacular Dream Lodges, the Cabana, and the In Suite. In order from most expensive to least expensive, you have the In Suite, the Cabana option, Spectacular Dream Lodges, the Coconos, the Relax Rooms, and then the Dream Lodges. And again, all of these accommodations do include the Montego area, so you are able to relax by the pool, get in the hot tub late at night, and then occasionally see a DJ performance too at the end of the night, just depending on what's going on in the area. Or if you were lucky in 2019 and got to witness a wedding in that area, you got to see that too. Thanks guys so much. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. This is my first video. I would love the feedback. I wanna know what you wanna know. I want to know how to do what I'm doing better. Drop whatever you have for me. Follow me on Instagram. And thanks for being here. Bye, guys.